Hi Hexagon, and welcome to this Inspire training video. Today we are going to discuss Jumping the Instrument Laser Trackers. First, navigate to Features and select Create Point Group. After this has been selected, you can begin measuring three or more points located around the area of inspection for moving your device. As you select these points, just make sure that they are in different lengths, heights, and width from the previous points. So now I'm just taking the 1.5 inch SMR and moving that around to various locations around my area of inspection. And now in the main graphical view, you will see those points appear. You can have nest or pucks hot glued down around the inspection of your part. These will ensure that the SMR does not move while you're acquiring the points necessary for the jump. Okay. Now I'm going to rename this to location one. Next, I'm going to physically move my instrument to a new location, select and right click jump on the instrument located in the tree. And that is automatically going to disconnect the first instrument and add a second instrument. As you are moving the device to a new location, ensure that the line of sight is available from location one to location two for remeasuring the five points that you measured in the previous section. Now I'm going to go back to features and create a second point group and I'm going to rename this to location two. And I'm going to measure the points in the same exact order. During this process, if you can't reach the points from the first location to the second location, you can skip it inside of the properties of the alignment. After the last point is measured, I'm going to now navigate to alignment and I'm going to select create network alignment. First, it's going to prompt me for my instruments. Then it's going to prompt for the points. And then if I have any point groups to bundle for the nominal. I can verify my alignment is correct by looking in the main graphical view. If you double left click on your second instrument, that's going to open the properties where you can enable draw lines of sight. This will automatically show a green line locked on to the SMR. So now I'm going to move the SMR back to some of the features that I had previously measured, go to my instrument, and then open a watch window. I'm going to place the watch window on my plane one. And then I'm just going to move that a little bit to the left so we can see it. And I'm going to move it again. So now we can see the deviation of magnitude appear in the watch window. Next, I'm going to go to features and I'm going to measure an additional plane. Because I have draw lines of sight enabled, as I take points across the surface, it's going to show where those points are located at on the actual surface and still show the line of sight from the actual laser tracker. Select next action or escape to complete. 
And now we have verified that the jump instrument is correct. Thank you for watching and we hope you were inspired.